In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your email on an iPhone. And uh, for this example, I'm going to use a trusted old 5S, but the iOS will be similar in pretty much any I iPhone that you use. So to start with, uh, we're going to use the iOS uh, generic mail app. Um, uh, although it's possible to set it up using other mail app systems, it, it, we would recommend that you use the, the robust Apple version. So to start with, uh, you click on the settings cog and you scroll down to until you find uh, the passwords and accounts option. You click on passwords and accounts and then you click add account. We're going to choose the bottom option here, so other and click add mail account. Then you put in your, your name. So you would put in here whatever your name is, um, ideally your business name, um, and then the email address that you're gonna set up. So in our case, it is uh, test at, I'm gonna use a domain name, itr8.co.uk. Um, and pop in the password and this will be the password that ideally we've sent to you or that you have already changed uh, that will pop in in our case a temporary password that we've created for this video and now what you see is this this is important so you put in your your name your business name at the top um, you put in the email address that you want to set up the password for the account um, and a description the description will be whatever it, it'll put that this the description will be used in on your phone to tell you what account it is and then you click next um, now you're going to get uh, an option you can either choose pop or imap um, imap is the way forward without a doubt so choose IMAP um, and we're going to set up two servers here. There's the incoming mail server and the outgoing mail server. Um, the host name for both of them is the same and it's mail, M-A-I-L dot whatever your domain name is. So in our case, it's itr8.co.uk um, and the username is the full email address. So in our case, it's test at um, the domain name which is itr8.co.uk um, but obviously the, whatever your domain name is .co.uk um, and the password is inherited from the one we entered earlier so incoming mail server mail.domain name username uh, the email address that you're setting up which will end in the domain name uh, outgoing mail server very similar it's mail m-a-i-l dot um, your domain name whatever your domain name is in our case it's itr8 dot, oops, dot co dot uk and the username is the full email address so in our case it's t-e-s-t -E at um, our domain name which is itr8 dot co dot uk uh, but obviously you will put in your own domain name at this point so yours will be your full domain name sorry your full email address tr8.co.uk uh, okay and finally the password although it says optional here it is an option optional you must put the password in and it's whatever you have been sent or that you have changed it to um, so in our case we'll just put in the test um, password and um, so finally, I would always recommend when you get to the end of the screen, going back to the top and just checking everything. So the name is whatever name you put in. I put in name, but obviously you can put in um, whatever your, your, your name is. Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the email address will be the full email address you want to set up. And the description is uh, typically just your domain name. So the incoming mail server, mail dot your domain name, the username is the full email address, the password is whatever you've set. Again, outgoing mail server, mail dot whatever your domain name is, username is the email address and password. I'm sorry for labouring this, but this is the screen where it can either go right or wrong. So then click on next, and when you click on next, you're going to get an error, and it's absolutely um, expected. And it's just going to say, cannot ver verify server identity. At this point, you click on details. 
um, and you have to click on trust at the top right hand corner okay um, basically what's happening is that it's trying to connect to your server using an SSL certificate and it's not recognizing that so we have to bypass it for now uh, by clicking that that trust icon this is the point point where you'll probably doubt whether it's all going right because there will be a long verifying pause a long one longer than you're probably used to when you're running your iPhones typically iPhones pretty snappy everything works really quick this will take a long time it can take up to five minutes um, there you go it's come through now but trust me it can be any it can be a lot longer than that period once again you click on continue sorry you click on details uh, always click on details and click on trust again so this happens twice and it's, it's usual for it happen to for, 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 for it happening twice once for the incoming server and once for the outgoing server now please don't think this is it this is a lot of our clients at this point see that things have worked you got all the ticks up and you click save and it's like oh well it's all worked hasn't it well, it, it, it kind of has worked on the surface, but it's going to come back and bite you. Please follow this last part of the video. So once again, click on the um, on the account you've just created. Really, really important this is. Click on the account you created, then click on the account again that's listed there. Okay. This time, scroll to the bottom of the screen. You're going to see two areas, an SMTP area and an advanced area. You're going to go into both of these and change them. Let's start with the advanced at the bottom. You click on the advanced. Um, and then you scroll to the bottom of the screen and you're gonna see a use SSL and server port 993. That is wrong. You need to switch off the SSL and that should change the server port to 143. Then click back on account and then click done. Um, okay, now go back in again, account, scroll to the bottom this time we're going to do the SMTP server click once on the SMTP server click once on the primary server at the top and you'll see SSL is on switch it off so disable SSL and check to see server port is 25 now we're all done and now we can click the done link at the top we get the ticks up and everything is set up you can now manage your mail through your mail app and just to show you how that's done, um, we'll click on done, um, we'll click go, go to the main screen, we'll click on the email um, and we'll see that going to the mailboxes, we'll see the inboxes there um, and that's just the, that's the only mail we have actually on in this particular mailbox. Um, but at this point, this is where all your mail starts flooding in. Hopefully that's helped and um, thank you very much.